up at the next Chris Wood just a deep iron into this hole pin 31 on good attack crisp sound and a lovely shot so I was just thinking it certainly looks like Chris Wood this for birdie on the third oh just either too far left or too hard uh, he dropped a shot at the second so Chris a one over heading in the wrong direction five behind Ashen Wu yeah, Chris Wood this is from a bit of trouble obviously this is from Jordan Smith had a fabulous second shot in here this is Chris's third Not too bad either one over today, though, poor start from Chris. And Chris would, one of those around that level, six, seven, eight under. And that's a good birdie. Gets him back to even for the day. I don't think it's ever been a smooth journey for him. Don't know, would he? Come on, turn, turn, turn. Well done, Chris. That's better. Yeah, two in a row for the Englishman. One of my favourite players, Chris Wood. Chris Wood on the ninth, pinned back right. Big drive. 320 metre run out on this hole to that water, so he wasn't far off it. And yeah. Playing yeah. it safely left of the pin and a good shot, good strike for Chris Wood. Now would it, ninth. Perfect tee shot, can no, it's just going to stay out there. <laughs> Up and out of it there a bit quick with this putt. He'll stay at eight under. No, 34, one under. <coughs> yeah. Chris Wood, chance for birdie at 10. Tough pin on this par three today. That's a good line. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Well done, Woody. He's on the move. Thought of it as an opportunity. Opportunity to, to win the Ryder Cup for the European team. What a great honour. And he managed to pop it in as well. <laughs> that was a classic distraction of your own psyche. Brilliant. Good chance for Chris Wood. He's on a bit of a roll at the moment. And he finds another one as well. So Wood climbs to 10 under. Well, Chris Wood didn't find the bunker with his second shot at 13. This isn't the best spot, he's going straight up that slope. That's a funny shot. Just caught the down slope, Jeff. Yeah, I know, but he hit it very low, didn't he? Yeah, it takes a lot of wind on a course like this with generous fairways and soft greens to really make a difference. Firm it up a bit and it, it would help, or narrow the fairways, but in these conditions this course is there for the taking. hated it when they hit it but it went absolutely straight in the middle but Chris Wood I don't know what was wrong with that another birdie look at that three and four holes at the start of the back nine 11 under he's only one behind now Chris Wood Here's the ball from Chris Woods. Straight at it. Oh, a bit long, a bit long. He's opened the door. Chris Wood just a touch strong with his wedge at 14. Putting back for birdie. And that was the title lead, but not to be. Perfect layout for Woody here. Yeah, this should be close. This is bread and butter for top pros. It's a bit dancing around the hall. Done. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Magnificent shot from Chris. A little lucky. 
probably carried a fraction further than he wanted to on that slope. And he got a great lots of spin on it, but Thank it you. spun the right way. Chris Wood taps in for his birdie after that spectacular third shot. And he now is tied at the top with Tanihara. McAvoy, Wu and Thompson, just the one behind. Chris Wood on 16 from behind the hole, putting back for birdie, slightly uphill. A lot of burrow on that. Remember quite that much from going round the course, but that's a good three. One over through the first five holes today, six under since then. Chris Wood could do with the uh, Chigger Thompson touch over the back of 17. Up the slope, then we'll run away from him. Not much margin for error here. Yeah. Yeah. Got there, Mark, that quick yes. Chris Wood. I would not be hesitating at all. And a par putt here for Chris Wood. Not easy up over a little hump and then down. Great save from Chris Wood, that'll carry on for tomorrow, into tomorrow. One hole to go, I know, but that was a huge part. Stays at the top. I thought that was going to lip out. It had sort of horseshoe written all over it. Now, can he make up for yesterday, Chris? Perfect position. Got to pitch it past the hole. Likes the line, how's the distance? Ah, that's better, Chris. Ooh, unlucky not to spin back down the whole side there. You know that's quick and a little bit off the right. To take the lead on his own. And for a round of 65. Oh, yes, absolutely beautiful putt for Chris Wood. Back in 31, 65 minus 13. He goes into the lead in the KLM Open. In one of his favourite tournaments of the year. Absolutely loves playing the KLM Open. And he really enjoys the Dutch. Chris, 24 hours ago we stood here. You were bitterly disappointed with that bogey on set on 18. You've birded it today. Totally different emotions in a round of 65. Yeah, well, I hit a, hit a better drive, a better second shot and a better third shot. And obviously a good fourth as well today. But um, I was really disappointed in myself last night to finish that way but yeah I sort of yeah you, you try to put it behind you really um, and me and Wobbly did some good work on the range this morning with the with the wedges and just to get a, just to refresh my numbers a little bit and I hit some really nice pitch shots today on the par fives because they're not all reachable with this wind um, 15 we usually can reach but it's straight into the wind it's a layup and um, Obviously, 18, you know, you've really got to hit the perfect drive to go for that. And is it worth it? I don't know. So you're relying on your wedges a lot. Um, and I hit some lovely shots, yeah. I know you mentioned yesterday you're making some big swing changes. People probably don't realise how big that is for a, for a professional golfer. But you must be pleased with the way that those are integrating into your game, particularly today. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, yeah, I've not played well for 18 months, really, I've felt. And um, change was needed. And... Um, yeah, I had three weeks off after the USPGA where you know, I had a week's holiday with some friends and family and then hit hit thousands of balls for two weeks um, working on the new stuff. And, um, you know, I was pleased with the progress last week. Like I said, it you know, wasn't expecting much, but, um, yeah, so far so good. But it's still a long way off. I'm still not hitting shots that I'm happy with, but um, I'm sticking to what I'm trying to do. And, uh, yeah, I find myself leading, but... Um, yeah, I certainly wasn't expecting to. 65 on the final day here last year. Do you think a similar score tomorrow will be needed to win this tournament? Weather dependent. 
Um, yeah, it's not that easy in a wind like this. Um, like I said, the par fives aren't, you know, aren't given fours. Um, so, I mean, that sort of score will certainly give myself a, a right chance, if not be enough. But um, I can only do what I've done the last three days, really. And yeah, if I if I come off with it, then great. If I don't, well, as long as I stick to what I'm trying to do in my swing, I know I'm making right the progress in the right direction. So um, hopefully something will happen before now, uh, before the end of the season. So you want to take it to hole 14, beat the pro this week, which it was last year as well. Where's um, bring Mateus in here? Now Mateus is a familiar face. He beat you yeah. in beat the pro last year, and he's done it again today. But you know how great an initiative is it to get people involved on on a professional tournament? It's amazing. Um, you know, I've just I've got a little little one myself. Um, not quite Mateus's age, but um, I'd love to think in five or six years' time, you know, he might be able to have a go and just seeing the seeing the faces on the on the little ones when they just hit their shot. You know, they're gradually building it into a little stadium hole there on 14 and um, it's such a nice atmosphere and I'm sure they're all very nervous I mean you can ask him I'm sure he was but he hit a great shot and um, yeah just managed to sneak it inside all three of ours. Yeah Mateus were you nervous and how do you feel about winning it twice now against the same player? Yeah it feels great but um, I was nervous on the beginning because one hour uh, before I, I my dad was called and he he um, uh, she said uh, I got a place on the beat the pro so uh, then I was nervous but when I was on the tee well, I was just relaxed and then I did it again so so, so experienced now and they you know, he, he managed to do it last year it's easy for him now absolutely maybe see you next year for third time lucky thanks very much cheers well done yeah thank you to watch another European tour video click here and to subscribe click here